Okay, Cindy, let me ask you the question. If a plane crashed between Germany and France, like right on the border, where would you bury the survivors? There would be no survivors because the plane crashed. So you sure about that, Sydney? 110% sure. Hey, Bobby. What you doing, girl? Huh? Watching the YouTube. What you watching? You watching your mom on YouTube? For sure. Whatever. What's up, Bass Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Vega, baby. <laughs> How you doing? What y'all doing? What you doing? You better find out. You better Google me. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Bobby and I on her way to her job. She got her little job. Wait till you see this, y'all. Y'all probably already know from thumbnail, so that's not even fair. But I'm about to take her to her job, child. She got to do that. I can't do that because that'll make my nerves bad. But I want to try to see my outfit of the day. I know it's a little like granny. It's not my... T what was that? <laughs> you laughing at me? My no. granny outfit? No. My outfit is granny-ish, okay? But I call it bohemian chic. Yes. That's what I call it, okay? Don't come for me. Don't come for me. What? So this is my outfit. And you know it can hang off the shoulder a little. I don't like how this camera is looking. And then my boots, my shoes are raggedy. I, I can't even front. I'm wearing my gladiator boots. Hey mom. If a plane crashed between the border of Germany and France, where would you bury the survivors? So where would I what? <laughs> where would you bury the survivors? In between Germany and France. Where would I bury them? Yeah, like, it's in between the border. It, it, it's like right in the middle, so. Where would you bury the survivors? If the plane crashed where? <laughs> It's on the border. It's like on the border of Germany. And no, France. you said if the plane crashed. If the plane crashed on the border of Germany and France, where would you bury them? Oh, because there could be survivors. Not everyone dies in a plane crash. I said. Right. So is this a trick question? If a plane crashed in between the border of Germany and France, where would you bury the survivors? Why would I need to bury them? The plane crashed, you know. No, they need to go back to their state. <laughs> they need to the, go back to their countries. Just because it there it, it crashed doesn't mean that that's where those people live. They could be vacationing. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where would you bury them if it's on the border? I wouldn't bury them anywhere. Why? Huh? Why? Because it's not my place to bury someone else's dead. You trying to get me to answer something. I know it's a trick question. Because not every plane, I everyone said, dies. I said. <laughs> but you're not understanding. The, you're okay, not, I don't know. What's the answer? Why would you bury survivors? <laughs> 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 okay let's try this again so this is my outfit it's just really chic and sometimes I just want something to throw on and it just be you know just kind of relaxy and my, it's just my bohemian look what y'all think it look kind of old lady-ish I'm losing my swag, but this is how I felt today. Just relax. And then I got my little hobo bag that I drape over. It goes with the whole little thing. When you go with the look, you go with the whole look. Don't go with half of the look. Okay? Don't do that. Just go all the way. Period. <laughs> all right, Bobby, let's go. Let's go to your job, girl. Let's see what she's doing, honey. I got another one for you, Mom. Okay. <laughs> Spell mop. M O P. Come on, you gotta do it fast. Spell mop. M O P. <laughs> Spell top. T O P. Spell cop. C O P. Say mop two times fast. Mop. 
Mom. What do you do to green light? Stop. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> oh, you think you funny, right, Bobby? You bad at this, Mom. I sure am. Let's go. <laughs> You know what you have to do? Did you read all our stuff? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Child, let's go up in her house. This camera's gonna be rolling the whole time. You know you go up in somebody's house? Nope. Nope. We went in, did what we were supposed to do. We went back out. The camera was rolling the whole time, okay? The whole time. So, ah, uh -uh, you ain't say, ah, uh -uh, we ain't gonna no extra rooms or nothing. In, out. Feed these little babies in and out. Oh, they put up the little ooh. they put up the little fence so the little babies don't run away. That's tough being short. What kind of sticks? From an apple tree. Yeah, they eat the sticks from an apple tree and then she gives them some rosebuds. So she's trying to get the other one to come get the stick. One seems friendlier than the other. That's a chinchilla. So she has two chinchillas. And do you know people make coats out of chinchillas? And it takes, you see how little it is? A little smaller than a rabbit. Um, they're not part of the rabbit family. We did a little research. <laughs> but it takes 200 of those little things to make a coat. Mm -mm. I don't agree with that at all. job seriously seriously she's taking her job seriously okay the chinchillas they usually prefer cooler environment so the room that she keeps them in um has to be cool and then with these things too they gotta roll around in some volcanic ash this is work. You have to know what you're doing for a chinchilla, honey. You just can't be buying a chinchilla and you don't have all the accommodations for it. Mm-mm. You gotta know what you're doing. And look at this cage. So her husband built this cage. So I think it's four cages put together and he cut them and this and that. So they just have a wonderland up in there. It's huge. Lady, um, she left copious notes um, for Bobby to follow. <laughs> so we've been reading notes, making sure that we got everything and did everything that she asked. Well, this lady, her name is Miss K. <laughs> um, I used to work with her at my behavior school at the DAEP, where kids are sent to us when they are referred to us after getting kicked out of school. <laughs> 
um i worked with her she was the art teacher very very good art teacher and i think she also used the art as art therapy and all the kids love going to art and then when texas had their big flood harvey when harvey hit texas um her home her brand new home was flooded and she stayed with me her, her husband stayed with me for a while so that's how i know miss k <laughs> all right bobby we're done you yes. did a good job so how was it bobby at your job pretty easy pretty easy uh, so do you like doing it being an animal keeper <laughs> yeah I'm gonna check the like the temperature. Huh? I'm gonna check the temperature. Oh, she wants to check the temperature? Oh, in the house. Okay. I don't know where You want me to ask her? I don't want you walking around their house now. You don't want to walk around the house. No, no. We came in. This is our stop. The kitchen and trash. And we out the doubt. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna close this out or whatever. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Bobby's got her first job. Her first job, okay? All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. She got her job. Sydney has a job. Um, next month, babysitting. Okay. All right. Later. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Yay for Bobby. <laughs> okay, Sydney. Let me ask you the question. If a plane crashed between Germany and France, like right on the border, where would you bury the survivors? So you sure about that, Sydney? 110 percent sure. So there will be no survivors. Are you saying that no one ever survives a plane crash? Well, we're just gonna put it at there were no survivors for this instance. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you the question one more time. So if that plane crashed right on the border of Germany and France, you know, in another country, okay, where would you bury the survivors? You don't bury, bury survivors. <laughs> uh, okay, Sydney. Spell mop. Fast. Mop. M-O-P. Mop. M-O-P. Top. T-O-P. Spell stop. S-T-O-P. Spell mop. M-O-P. What do you do at a green light? Stop. Go. <laughs> <laughs>